Dymat channel, welcome. Right, today I'm gonna to be having a close look at this custom cut, cut by hand, seven-sided stone, uh, cut by Mr. Justin Prim in the US, and I will, sh I'm sure you will agree, he really knows what he's doing. So we're gonna have a close look at this stone and just uh, appreciate gem cutters and what can be achieved by the, the masters of the craft. It's amazing, R unusual cut stone, it's just done perfectly, it's faultless, <laughs> really impressed by it. So anyway, I've got a, have a close look at that stone and figure out how to make something with it. <laughs> not gonna be easy, not straightforward at all. Anyway, I'll get into it after I said thank you to these new patrons. We've got Constantin Dreve and Kevin McAllister. Thank you very much, guys. And uh, Constantin was clever because he paid for a year in one go and saved 10% off the yearly subscription. So uh, yeah, just so you know that's, that happens, but that's not to say you have to become a patron and stay for a year. Some people come and go. I do it all the time on other people's patrons accounts. Just I, I learned something from the video or just it made me smile, just like them and just wanted to show my appreciation by making a little contribution. So I, I just patron for one or two months and then I go. But you can even do custom pledges as well. So it's just a nice way to uh, give YouTubers a pat on the back. <laughs> anyway, right, let's have a close look at this stone. Okay, so here we go. Seven-sided sunstone cut by Mr. Justin Prim. A bit difficult to show you it so you can ap appreciate all the facets and accuracy of it but it is cut very well uh, not an expensive stone it's a little sunstone but it's really nice there's no I mean, it's got a nice sort of illusions going on there it sort of creates a nice flower inside the inside the stone there's nothing fancy there's no concave cuts or anything on the back looking at the belly of the stone very deep as well so uh, when you're working with like custom cut stones, trying to figure out what to make, the actual dimensions of the stone will give you a few clues as to what might be best to do with it. Uh, this is really deep, so in a ring it's gonna stand up really high off the finger, uh, which means, this is not the end of the world, some people really like that, but that means your shoulders have to go up quite high as well, just the whole thing gets, gets a bit cartoony when stones that are quite big uh, are quite high as well, got quite deep bellies on them. Um, being seven-sided, it's also a bit of a challenge to know what to do with it because you can't go straight across like a ring shank uh, because it goes there just off the points and sort of a weird point of the of the flat, a weird angle, or you can go, I'm not gonna be able to do this, um, or you can go from a point and then go in between the flats, in between the points on the other side, so it goes across the flat, but either way, it just looks odd and the way the shank joins it, doesn't match both sides simultaneously. So that can make it difficult. Again, possible, but it's not ideal. Once you notice it, you might not like it. Uh, it's just not ideal. So I'm kind of, kind of stuck having to do a pendant with this, but the depth of it means it could be prone to rocking left and right. So I need to think of that as well. So don't go too narrow at the back. You don't want a kind of weird cone shape pendant that's just gonna rock left or right and then be in depth deep as well. You have to be a bit careful about where you position the hanging loop from because it could be prone to tilt in forward or tilt in back. Uh, anyway, just things to keep in mind when you're making pendants. Uh, but it's a nice stone, I really like it. And then, I don't know if you're picking up the quality of the craftsmanship of actually how it was cut. It's really, really quite well done. I was thinking about the stone yesterday and the way I remembered it, there was a bit more of a point on them. And I was thinking to do a V-claw, but looking at it today, there's such a sort of shallow angle, angle that's not really worth making a V-claw for them. But I was thinking I could do a quite chunky round claw, enough with enough meat on it to actually file sort of facets on the claw so it matches the outside of the stone. Uh, a sort of faking a V-claw, basically. Um, because the angle, looking at it from the side, is quite steep as well. I'm thinking going like cone shapes, so I can cone off these claws uh, to sort of match the design flow again of the stone. It's gonna help, uh, just got to make a meaty enough to at least at the top half, put a flat on there. So match the outside of the stone, looking down on it. Uh, and then being a, a one-off sort of custom cut stone as well. I've gone to do something a bit special with it. So I'm thinking sort of maybe pave set in between those claws, two or three pave set diamonds. Yeah, perhaps matching bottom bezel as well. I don't know, but anyway, basically it's coming, I'm getting ideas coming to mind just from looking at the stone. Not sketching, seeing what looks right, just letting the stone tell me, just from looking at it, trying to figure out what works best, what's most sensible, and then what's the best way to make that sensible option. 
um, when you're a jeweler as well, you need to appreciate cost of manufacture, time of manufacture, uh, wearability, practicality, and all that. So um, yeah, you, these things will just come to you automatically almost just from looking at the stone. It's a big part of the job is actually thinking about what you're about to do before you do it. It's actually a really important part. Fortunately, to your boss who may not have experience like you do sat on the bench, he just sees you just sitting there going, <laughs> doesn't look good in a workshop. <laughs> so my advice is lean over a bit of paper with a pencil in your hand. <laughs> Think that way. Don't just sit there looking up at the roof. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you'll see this stone again. I'm going to start something. Uh, it's a bit late today, but I'll get the metal ready and start it tomorrow morning, and then we'll get a video going of actually creating something for this stone. <laughs>